Potter's Journal in this series of videos. I am. Um, and it started by, I guess, doing some home canning for the first time ever. Um, I am making, okay, some ceramic you saw in the last video jars. The, um, okay, more like, and, um, this time I will be doing more of a crock. Um, for fermenting in lower, flatter, wider. Um, and too, if, uh, okay, you're thinking about making pots for a Christmas sale. Vintage uh, Christmas, 1991. Um, I sold those, uh, they were popular with a small crowd, and then I didn't have enough for somebody one day a year, so I made a big batch, and that year I didn't sell any. Um, I think that was 93, there's a lot of those around, so... Um, the, um, I will just jump in and out, back and forth. This one's from 92. The, um, I will today, in today's video, be making, okay, on the potter's wheel, this one that you see right here. I won't be decorating it, but you can see that in some of my past videos. I'll put up a link. That Here's um, something, I believe, that actually was made and meant to be used for that purpose. This is probably from... Uh, Okay, the the last century, 1900s, um, early, mid, they were still making these actually today. Um, fashioned after the ones from 1800s that were hand thrown and maybe nicely decorated um, with various patterns and designs, floral, birds, animal motifs. Um, then eventually it uh, you know got cheapened when they had to compete with the new way of doing it in glass. Um, and they were just stenciled on, but even these, when I said I was going to do some canning, pickling, I was given, and I don't know if you can see that there is an anchor on there for Mason, I wasn't given a box of uh, jars that were all the same size, that I was given a box that was a collection, a family collection, each one was different, so even in these, but in the old pieces it would both, um, the designs would both identify the pottery, and um, the time within the pottery where it was made and the way it was done. Um, here's something else that got me started on this. Um, okay, home canning. Speaking of olden days, uh, we'll head down to the historic village again. Um, this one is from 19, home canning from 1943. And the one that the people make the glass jars, Atlas, put out, 1946. I found one from the 70s. What was this? Farm Journal Freezing and Canning Cookbook, but I was somewhat confused, uh, so I did finally get a modern one preserving everything from Lita Meredith that gave a little bit of the science of it and straightened me out on what and why and how and acidity levels, which makes a big difference on whether you pickle can things or have to pressure can, which I'll never do. But we are going to be making, okay, that pot today. Before we do, I just want to show something ah, from my past. Now, this one I somehow didn't get handles. These are from a salt kiln. And uh, this is something I made an awful lot of. It probably once helped me to learn to throw big. So, um, another nice one out of a salt kiln. I think mostly people use these for plants. Um, I don't think any of these things have <laughs> ever been made or used for canning, so if you're a potter, but um, maybe some potter will um, make one. It's uh, very functional. The modern ones are quite elaborate, and I think Jamie Dove Pottery in Florida, if his pickles aren't all put up and, um, and made this year, maybe next year he'll do that for us. Okay, let's get on to today's video. Potter's Journal. I am here at the Southside Historic Village. There's the old doctor's office. That little building actually was a doctor's office. And our general store, our wood oven, and there it is, the log cabin from the log cabin era. Something that would have been important for many crocks and jars. Today I will be making in the studio here at the village a for many crock. Okay, this is in Hookstown, PA. It is noisy here. Here's the old schoolhouse. Um, so, exactly what you'll be able to hear with all the um, other craftspeople work, working. Uh, we've got a blacksmith. We have got a 
weaver who's um, operating a loud loom and the woodworker on his noisy treadle. So today, you might not be able to hear much too over my noisy wheel. Sorry, we don't have a treadle or a uh, kick wheel. I would love to have one. Let's make some fermenting crocs in the studio today. <laughs>
that's what they do. <laughs> okay, fermenting crocs like that, very different from the canning we know today. Um, for things like sauerkraut, uh, pickles were done in a different way. Kimchi, um, um, only now becoming familiar with the process. I can do fairly good here with uh, the old guys are really good at remember when. Um, well, I can do there. I remember in the 60s too. And then the um, I, my grandparents' stories. Um, so I will say, we'll figure out more about the fermenting crocs stop back next year and next week to see what else we can make here at the Southside Historic Village in Hookstown, PA.